Hi everyone, how are you doing today? We're back with another devotion from this book. Grace for today, one minute devotions. Join me, shall you? So today's devotion is for May 11th and it is Grow Through Truth. Grow Through Truth. Right here. Grow Through Truth, May 11th. 11th. You can screenshot it and we can get started. Let's get started. Grow Through Truth. Like newborn babies crave pure spiritual milk so that by it you may grow up in your salvation. First Peter chapter 2 verse 2 If you ignore or undermine the necessary growth of your spiritual life it will not be long before you start to suffer on, stor on the stormy seas of disappointment and despair. There must be growth and development or your spiritual life will flounder on the rocks. God makes resources available to us to assist us in our spiritual growth, such as fellowship with believers, Bible study, and good deeds, but we should guard against these aids becoming goals in themselves. These are simply the result of our relationship with God and can never be a substitute for our faith in Him. There can only be spiritual growth if your main objective is to reflect the image of Christ more and more. This should be the heart's desire of every believing Christian disciple. Here's a prayer. Pray with me. Lord, let your Holy Spirit take possession of me so that I will live for your glory alone. Amen. Grow through truth. That is a wonderful topic. We do need to go through truth. We need to strengthen our faith. We really do. We have fellowship and devotions and Bible studies to help us. But it's up to us to want to grow our faith and to want to be more Christ-like each and every day. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, I just pray that we'd grow in the knowledge of your truth I just pray that we become more and more Christ-like every day. I just pray that you will help us through these Bible studies, these devotions, going to church, that we would grow to know your truth even more and share it with others. And in your precious name, amen. God makes resources available to us to assist us in our spiritual growth, such as fellowship with believers, Bible study, and good deeds. But we should guard against these aids, becoming goals in themselves. These are simply the result of a relationship, our relationship with God and can never be a substitute for our faith in Him. So remember this in every day. Growth through truth. Remember that, the truth of Christ's love for us. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this devotion through the book Grace for Today. Thank you, and I'm going to be doing more devotions after this through the, the book 365 Days of Kindness and the book 366 Devotions, Trusting in God. But the link for this devotion playlist will be in the description box below. Remember this in every day. God loves you, Jesus loves you, and I love you. Bye-bye. Bye. Love to you all. Blessings, too.